putting together some shelving for the barn. Uh, this is made out of OSB, just 3 8 OSB, uh, using these two and a half inch Torx screws for everything. Um, I've got these two by fours on the bottom for support here, and then I'm putting two by fours down the middle. You can see here, I've got a two by four down the middle, and this is meant to support uh, the OSB, but it's also meant to serve as a divider so that things won't slide into the middle of this and become hard to access. So this is eight feet tall. So once I get up to the top there, um, if there's a bunch of stuff that's in the middle of these shelves, it'll be hard to access. So that's what this is doing. It's serving a dual role of keeping the OSB supported, but also dividing um, the shelf into two pieces that will then um, keep everything on one side or the other. Um, so I've got two of these side by side, trying to make good use of vertical space here. So you'll notice I've got these uh, two foot shelves here with some junk. And then I've got these four foot shelves here. So here's the top. I put two supports side by side because I'm gonna be putting like big sheets of plywood and stuff up here. So I didn't want one vertical support in the middle because that would make it really awkward to store plywood. So I put two running parallel like this, nice and flat, low profile. That way when I put um, OSB or plywood and stuff on here, it's got this nice flat surface to rest on. All right, so everything's all done. Got my little Harbor Freight storage trays here. Love these things, super, super convenient. They're pretty tough. Um, you know, they can hold a decent amount of weight. I've, I've been impressed with them and they're super cheap as well. So I'm probably gonna put another one right above here. So I'll have two of those, one on top of the other. They don't fit side to side, unfortunately. They're just a little bit too wide to fit two of them side by side. So I will put another one here and I'll have two top to bottom there. I've got these two by fours below to provide support from below. Um, and then what else should I say about these? Um, yeah, these are big enough to uh, be able to slide these um, Costco totes in. So plenty of clearance to slide those in. They fit on Oh no, I guess this is just a little bit too small to fit one of the Costco totes. That's okay. So they'll fit here, they'll fit here, and then I've got two sides. So that would give us, you know, X linear feet. So what is that, 32 linear feet? No, 64 linear feet to fit these totes. And then of course I've got these shelves back here as well, where I can fit more of them if needed. Um, and then one of the more exciting things is actually down below. I made these tall enough to accept these little uh, plastic uh, drawers, these sets of plastic drawers. So I'm picturing that I'll get some of those and have them lined up here. And so I'll have my plastic drawers here along the bottom. And then I'll have, you know, plastic totes holding all the little odds and ends, all the, you know, pipe fittings and um, tie downs and bungee cords and all that stuff. It'll all be in these nice um, plastic totes, super well organized. And I'll just be able to come in here and get whatever I need um, quickly and efficiently, making good use of vertical space. Um, all totaled between the two of these shelves, there's, um, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, if you include the floor here. Um, times eight would be 40, yeah, 40 linear feet here, 40 here, 40 here. So that's 120 linear feet of storage, um, between this shelf and this shelf. And then on the top, of course, I've got a pretty high barn roof. And so I'm able to put stuff up there that's like super tall. So I'll be getting a whole bunch more, 
um, of these planter pots and since I've got those shelves on top with pretty much unlimited vertical space I have tons of space up there. This shelf up here is meant for larger pieces of plywood and things like that and I'll be able to stack that nice and high as well. Um, structurally I'm not super worried about the weight. Um, using 2x4s is maybe not the smartest move but these 2x4s are backed up by this OSB here, which should make it super strong, super rigid. Um, it's not really able to lean this way because this OSB is going to keep it um, sturdy that way. And then it's not really able to move this way because of it's attached at the wall over there. So I, I think that even though I use 2x4s, it should be quite sturdy. And so I'm picturing I'll be able to hold quite a lot of um, big bulky materials on the top of this shelf here. Um, ultimately, if or when I need to expand, I can basically create another one of these units right next door to it. So put another unit right here. I've got these plastic shelves. I'm going to use these for mushrooms. So, um, I, I won't have these here anymore. And so if or when I need to expand my storage capacity, I'll just redo the shelves that we see here, just right over here. And so I'll have that half shelf this full shelf and then another full shelf here. And then I even have more room if needed here as well for more shelving. 